going diving today, checking out all my new equipment. I got the new HUD from Scuba Pro Computer. I'm gonna try that out. I'm also gonna check my dry suit right there. Um, I'm gonna check on that, make sure that it is, there's no leaks in it because I'm gonna be selling it. I just got a new one from Scuba Pro. Um, so I'm gonna be selling it, so I need to dive it to make sure there's no leaks in it. For dry suits, it's obvious you can't pee. So A, either you can wear adult diaper, which holds about two and a half pisses, or you can put the system in it that allows you to pee freely. What you do is you put this condom thing on in the morning, and it's hooked to a hose, and then it comes out a valve in the knee. I'll show you the whole process. So you open this up, That's what it comes and looks like and it's pretty tight <laughs> but you just roll it back on after you're hard and then you hook the hose up to this piece the hose is in the leg here so here's the hose that you hook it up to and it the pee goes right down there and out the valve that's, and out the valve that's right there so basically i'm going to use a banana to show you so I don't get a strike against me on YouTube. Take this tab, just pull it all the way down. Just like that. Now what you do is you take the adhesive and warm it up and get it so it's ready to go. You pull the top off. And that's basically what you're looking at. So it's on there tight. An important note, a very important note. See how there's no hair on this? That's exactly what you need because when you take this off and if you're not shaving, it'll rip everything out. Just like a Brazilian wax from what I've heard. So basically this is a Scuba Pro undergarment that you wear. The good thing of what Scuba Pro did is they made it so you can zip up right here so your banana will look like that and that is what you hook up to your hose so basically what you do is now you just insert this into here just like that so in the end that's what it will look like you can actually piss right out here down and it goes down into the knee and comes out that other end so like i said it's very important that you shave because this it's stuck on. Imagine that being your skin. I'm trying to get it off. That, my friends, is how you do it. Or, like I said, you can wear these on these diapers. This is why I don't like diving with dry suits. They're cumbersome. Um, but my new one. Uh, from scuba pro is not supposed to be so um the water is going to be about the same temperature as it is all year round here 50 to 60 degrees is the normal temp of the water ranges in northern california in my area in monterey but the thing is is when you get out of the water and it is cold outside right now it's about 45 degrees i don't know what the canadian i don't know what that is in your world um so anyway when you get out and you're completely dry and now you're in a big warm pajamas undergarment by scuba pro k2 gotta love it anyway gonna try all this out follow along so i'm all hooked up into my dry suit and we're gonna make sure the p-valve works that's the p-valve right there and if everything works you'll see pee flying out of that in a minute i'm peeing there it's coming out yes it worked Woo! Okay, that wasn't a heavy stream. Okay, just finished my first dive. Conditions have changed, as you can see. The wind has come up. Visibility was about three feet. Suck balls. There would be no killing today. But it doesn't have any leaks, and I was able to pee like right now. fell apart underwater. Almost floated away. I was able to grab it.
I was able to grab it. This piece came off. I think I got it on video under there floating away. So it could be the way I installed it. I don't know. But man, that could have been a costly mistake for moi. So I'll figure it out. Call the rep. Call the dive shop. They're pretty knowledgeable. Find out if I did something wrong. This is where I noticed my HUD fell off my mask and I dropped my spear gun and I was grabbing it. I got it and then I found the bolt floating right to the left. 